Hello there and a welcome to my channel. I'm Emma, in case you don't know, and this is my sewing channel, So Do Emma. So, if you're new around here, welcome. I do hope you continue after this video to um, watch them and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And all of you, please do consider liking and if you would like to comment in the box below in the comments box that thing so yes so all the links that i talk about in today's vlog will be in the description box below so you can go and click away happily with ease i hope <laughs> so what i'm wearing first before i forget because i I'm, I'm one of those forgetful people. So, let's see. I'm wearing the So House 7 Romy Top. And it's got the button closure. It's in this gorgeous linen. I think it's, I think it's a Merchant and Mills linen. It's a hand-woven linen. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely to wear. It's not scratchy or anything like this. And I've had this for quite some time. Actually, it kind of it is my first one of doing this top, and I absolutely love it. So I need to crack on and make more. So yes, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have time to do it this week, but we can always try, can't we? Mm -hmm. So yes, I've washed my hair. So it's a wee bit better sometimes when it's washed. It does. It does. Um. So yes. Um. Today's vlog is, is all about new patterns that are just singing to me. To sing. I'm trying to do this Travis. Sing. Yeah. Not working. Okay. So, yeah. Um, let's just jump into it, will we? First off, it's the Sew Over It Patterns. Now, I've got my little iPad in front of me. I'm going to shove it so I'm looking at the screen and you as I'm talking. How's that for? Right, okay. So, if you don't already know this, where have you been? The internet has been... Projecting photos at me since this released, and I'm I'm in love. The lovely Emily um, is doing the curve sizing um, model. She looks at phenomenal. Um, I followed Emily for ages. Um, I can't remember her hash, her handle on Instagram, but I'll pop it. On the screen for you and a wee link in the box below if you want to come follow her but emily looks, looks amazing so the sophia dress um it's a stunning bra friendly summer dress with the um with strappy with straps it's got a lower back cut out they seem to be all the rage at the moment and a choice of buttons or a bow for the back closure. Oh, I think I would have to do one of each because I like the sound of that. The borders is lined and gathered at the center front to create a gentle sweet tart shape over a wide waistband. Version one closes with a beautiful bow at the back. Breath friendly. Version two closes with buttons at the centre back and includes two different options to create a higher or lower back cut out. Oof, very clever. So you can make Sophia with a simple gathered skirt with three gathered tiers for more volume and for a chance to play with the print on your fabric. 
Sophia is great. One for stripes. The skirt is elasticated at the back and you can make the lower back more or less exposed by using a longer or shorter length of elastic. You can make Sophia in cotton or chambray for a more structured look and, and a fuller bow. Or create a flowy summer dress in viscose or crepe. So being a viscose crepe. That be too heavy. So yeah, and this is a new silver pattern. So it would be in a six to thirty in the PDF pattern. You can actually get them printed as well. So you would either go for six to twenty, or eighteen to thirty, or six to thirty PDF. It's not available as a paper pattern yet, um, from my understanding, on the Sophia, um, on the Sew Over It website. Fancy having a website for just one dress. I'm pretty sure there would be one. <laughs> Moving swiftly on is Sycamore Road patterns. Now I have the waterfall dress that I really want to make. I don't think I'm going to have enough time this week should I even got my trolley on and just did it but I've been catching up on things so that's a good thing I have been catching up on things but Sycamore Road Patterns have released the Cameron Wrap dress now I had a sneak peek this earlier on in the week before this was released um, it popped up on Instagram so a lot of people had a sneak peek. It wasn't just me, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not that special. <laughs> Smug. Hmm. Um, the Cameron Wrap Dress, a unique twist on a wrap dress. This versatile dress has a kimono style collar, two sleeve options and two length options. A perfect addition to your wardrobe. Now let's have a wee let's have a wee mosey. I thought I was on the actual page of the actual dress but hey oh. Um there are three darts in the front panels to shape the fabric around the bus and to avoid excess fabric bunching up too much. The Cameron Rat dress has Two sleeve and skirt length options. Sleeve U is a regular straight sleeve for a clean and classic look. And sleeve UB is a gathered sleeve with a cuff that ties into a bow. Oh, I like the look of that. <laughs> it's flirty, fun and adds a playful twist to your dress. There are several options included in this pattern to tailor it to your taste. You will find the pattern pieces for those options in the pattern hack files. That is um, nice. So I'm liking the sound of this already. Also reading this, it's fresh to me. I should have done background homework, you know, but hey ho. Size inclusivity is an important value for Sycamore Road patterns. Cameron has two size ranges. The plus size range has an extra dart in the front skirt panel to accommodate recovery of figures. Sizing goes from a 30 and a half inch to a 60 bus measure. That's really good. Bravo, bravo. The dress can be tied at the side and at the back. Recommended fabrics are woven, light to medium weight, cotton, linen, silk, viscose are all good options depending on the look that you want. Sizing goes from a US 2 to 34. I absolutely love the sound of this. The look of this is absolutely stunning and the, it looks like linen, possibly double gauze if I'm right. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it. So, 
This has been out for a while and I have seen so many beautiful versions on Instagram and I really, really, really need to make one. Unfortunately, Rome is in the week and there's no way in heck would I be able to do this in a week with everything else that I'm hoping to turn out. The Laura pattern is an empire waist dress with four views. Now, the Laura dress, or Laura, Laura, from True Bias, um, it comes in two size ranges, 0 to 18, and 14 to 32. So, all views have a underbust gathers, a self-lined bodice, and 12 loop buttons along the centre front. View A's and C have half-inch spaghetti straps at the shoulders, while views B and D have long puff sleeves. The dress is fitted through the waist and hips and has a straight fit through the skirt, with views A and B ending just above the knee and view C and D hemmed a couple of inches above the ankle. Love this. This is green and occasion wear. I mean, ooh, and I love the linen versions of this. So the measurements that go from a 14 to 6, 32 are the bust going up to a 59 and a half inch or 151 centimetres. A waist going up to 52 and a half inches or 133 centimetres and a hip of 61 and a half inches or 156 centimetres. Now that is for the D cup, the 14 to 32. You probably need to do a small bust adjustment if you're smaller than a D cup in dress making sizes. Yeah. Okay. The Home Rack by LB Textiles. Now, oh, when I first saw this, when I first just saw little glimpses on Instagram, LB Textiles like to do that little cheeky teasing, yeah. So, this is a dress and a jumpsuit. It's available in a B cup and combined C, D cup. In sizes A to N. I'll get on to the sizes in a minute by rounding off to the larger size. You know it. Both views feature an elasticated waistband and darted bodice that can be wrapped around the waist or tied in a bow at the front. The wide leg jumpsuit comes with inseam pockets and finishes off at the ankle. While the dress has an A-line skirt finishing below the knee. This is suitable for intermediate sores and above. Suggested fabrics, medium weight woven fabrics with good drape, tensile, rayon, wash linen, silk, canal, soft cossons, etc. Please note if you're using a pattern fabric with repeat that you would like to match, you may need more fabric than what is suggested above. Use your discretion. Ensure your fabric is washed and pressed before cutting. I mean, I like to wash my all my fabric before I get cutting. It's, it's just a thing now that I do because you just never know. Um, so, the sizing, where are we now, so we are going to go from A to N and the biggest size for a B cup is for the bust, B cup bust is 144 centimetres or 57 inches. The D cup is 147 and a half centimetres or 58 and a half inches. 
For the waist, it's 127 centimeters or 50 inches. And for the hips, it's 153 centimeters or 60.2 inches. So, yes. Really, really like, I particularly like the jumpsuit. And I really like the dress. So, it's going to be quite hard one. I think you would do the jumpsuit. I like the wide legs on this. Um, and I do really like just the overall look. I like the sample, the black with the white pattern going on. It's like a caramel ivory that's going on in this black one. Oh, love it, love it, love it. So, finally, we have a new pattern company to me. I've never heard of this pattern until it popped on Instagram. Instagram is my nemesis at the moment. It's making me spend money. <laughs> and I'm just as bad as Instagram about trying to entice you, influence you <laughs> into new patterns. Sorry, not sorry, like Instagram probably. Mm -hmm. So, this is a new pattern company to me. And it popped up on Instagram, like I just said, repeating myself. Love it. Um, so it's the Zamora skirt, and it's a PDF sewing pattern. I think most of them are available in PDF sewing patterns, and um, that's the one that you can download. And either you've got an AO, A4 or US letter format where you print it at home or at a print shop but then you've got the AO or coffee shop files which you can send to a online printing company and they will um, print it on the massive plotting machines and then um, it's on one bit of paper well not on one bit of paper but there's, there might be a two to three um bits of AO paper or wide paper um, <laughs> with your pattern on it and it's so much quicker than sticking out all the A4s. Now I think maybe 30 pages is my maximum limit for printing at home. So it's a big bonus when we get patterns like um, the new t-shirt by Tammy Handmade. The Naya t-shirt and that's under 10 pages. The bigger sizing is 9 pages and the smaller sizing is um, 7 pages so brilliant. Really quick win for the home. But back on to the <laughs> Samora skirt. Yeah, you get lessons from me. Pure rampage. Ramble. Oh, rampage. Okay. So, um, unfiltered this one eh? Right, so the Zamora skirt is a simple, beginner friendly and detailed sewing pattern for every source Mimi's wardrobe. With the Zamora skirt pa sewing pattern, you'll be able to make a st stunning skirt that is both comfortable and versatile for all seasons. Whether you're a seasoned source or beginner looking to develop your skills, this pattern provides clear instructions and step-by-step -step illustrations to guide you through the sewing process. Whether you're sewing the Zamora skirt for a special occasion or simply want to enhance your Mimi wardrobe, the Zamora skirt pattern is a fantastic choice as a timeless style and versatility make it suitable for a wide range of settings, seasons and bodies. Now, it features an elasticated waistband, two tiers of which one is gathered. There's seven tucks at varying widths to create interest, and it also includes a white hem. There's also a mini or little Zamora if you want to be match matchy with your wee one, you wee girl. So, there we go. So, by the way, 
until the 31st of July, which is, or is it the 31st of July or 30th of July? Maybe the 30th, 31st of July, probably. Um, the Zamora skirt is free, so get your booty into gear and get a nice free pattern. It has a really, really good size range, this one. I'm actually quite shocked. Um, and this is why I'm featuring it. So the Zamora skirt pattern includes five inclusive patterns with a hip measurement ranging from 34 inches to 62 inches and that's 86 to 156 centimetres. It does take a lot of fabric so depending on the size it takes three to five yards or metres yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's probably because of all the tucks. I remember the Silo top blouse. Um, I can't remember. Is it Sewing Mason? No, uh, something else. Oh, it's a French French person that does that one. But this, um, is it Celia? Celia? Mm, it's not Closet Core. Anyway. I'll feature the name and the picture that I'm referring to. That has tucks. But I've seen another um, pattern on the Madswick website that I love. It's the blouse. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just put a picture in there. Okay. Um, okay. So that's it, guys. I think I've got it. So if you have enjoyed this pattern, please, if you have enjoyed this pattern, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a little thumbs up and um, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're in the know of my next appearance. Um, yeah, and if you recognise any new patterns coming, and I've not mentioned them, and you think they're my vibe, please comment below. What's your favourite pattern out of this five part pattern boost? Um, let me know in the comments below. Take care my lovelies, and I'll see you very, very soon!